What's up, guys? Sorry it has been a minute since my last video. Uh, I had vacation this week, April vacation, and so I took my kids for a little vacation. We went to the zoo, all outside activities. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but I wanted to make a video today about two new parts of this festival. The first is going to be this 30 million coin exchange. But then also, in this event exchange shop, it's kind of hidden. Uh, but you can get... Ludosio, a whole new set of, uh, a whole outfit for Ludosio. So I did think that was a little weird that it was kind of there and not within the spin event itself. So I just wanted to go over that and make sure that people saw that. Um, as for the spin event, you do have to use, whoops, sorry about that. Nope, still the wrong one. Here we go. You do have to use these coins. Uh, and... There's two ways to get them. You can buy them through the coin shop. Uh, a silver coin gives you a one-to-one -one exchange, and a gold coin is a five-to-one exchange, uh, which is not that great. So I don't recommend doing that, especially because you can grind them for free. So you are able to get these 30 million download coins throughout the event period in order to get... And see, even in this... Oh, okay, or bring them to the exchange shop. It does mention it, but like I feel like I, I missed it and I clicked on it accidentally because I was like, what am I supposed to be exchanging? Uh, but yeah, so you're able to get these through doing boss battles, not the special boss gloom that's running right now, just the standard run-of-the-mill first six chapters, those boss battles there. The death matches that come from those boss battles, knighthood boss battles, and reverse stages. So the majority of these coins are going to probably be gained through boss battles and death matches, especially since right now we do have... Uh, we had a boss battle event earlier this week, and we also have the deathmatch event running right now. Uh, so what you're going to want to be doing is make sure you clear those. You can get the coins up to 30 times a day. Now, this does not mean that you get 30 coins. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's go to a boss battle here. And I'm just going to auto clear it real quick. So you can see. So you get three coins per. But you can do that up to 30 times. So that means you can get a total of 90 coins per day. So you are going to want to be making sure you do that because this event does end on Tuesday. So it's a very quick turnaround. So you're going to want to make sure that you get all of the available rewards. So we go over to the spin event. Now I've already used the exchange. But I'm going to do this here. You either spin one time or five times, depending on how many coins you have. Uh, there is no added benefit for five times. It just consumes your coin faster, so you don't have to press as much. Uh, but each reward tier, there's seven total tiers. The first tier, you get an SSR pendant. This one, you get a weapon for Arthur. You get a cosmetic for Arthur. You get an outfit for Arthur. Another SSR pendant, a weapon, cosmetic, and an outfit for Merlin if you get through all seven. So make sure that you are doing these. This does end on the 27th, so make sure you're staying on top of that. And don't forget about that Ludosiel outfit. Even if you don't have the characters, still try and get those cosmetics, because if you get them and unlock them in the future, you're able to still use those cosmetics. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for getting me to 300 subscribers. That was a, a really pleasant surprise over vacation to break that. That made me really happy. So thank you guys very, very, very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And of course, as always, you can join the Discord channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.